Hi everyone, uh, today I'm gonna to show you how to make a photo slideshow for IGTV using a free online tool. So let me show you kind of what I mean. Um, here is my photo slideshow. Hi world, here's some photos of what my life looks like in San Francisco. You can see every photo lasts, um, you know, whatever, one and a half seconds, and they're all nine by 16. Um, and yeah, that's, uh, that's what I'm gonna show you how to make today. Okay, so to start off with, you need to get a series of photos that you want to combine together into a slideshow. So you can see um, here I have like a folder on my computer where I have gathered like photos of San Francisco that I want to, you know, put into my photo slideshow. So once you have this collection of photos, um, just go to kapwing.com, this website called Kapwing. Um, it's called K it's spelled K-A-P-W-I-N-G. Or you can search it on Google. Well. This website, Kapwing, is a free online video editor, so you can use it on your um, uh, Mac computer, Chromebook, your phone, any kind of device Kapwing runs on. So you can see they have um, lots of different features, um, but I'm going to go ahead and choose the video montage maker. That's the tool that you use to make a slideshow. You can see here it says video slideshow online. Um, then just click get started. Um, you can see here that the editor is blank to start off with, but you can upload a file directly from your computer or you can uh, paste uh, a URL. Let's say you're like trying to make a YouTube mashup or something like that and the videos that you're using are already online. You can um, go ahead and paste the links here. Um, so like you saw, I already have this folder uh, uh, set up with all my different uh, photos of San Francisco. I um, also noticed as I flip through here that they're not all the same size. Like some are vertical, some are horizontal. They have like different crops. I think I have like a photo they post on Instagram once here. Um, I even have some, like this is a live photo, like a very short um, a video. And this is a, a photo, or this is a video that I, an intro video that I filmed on Snapchat. Um, so yeah, lots of different formats here, but um, Kipling supports them all. So I can just select all of them and open them, upload them here. Um, you see that you'll see that all the clips will upload um, and a preview will load here in the left panel of what your video will look like. Um, so yeah, let's see here. Um, the tool works super intuitively. I can just rearrange things to order them by a want. There's my intro. <laughs> um, I'm going to move that intro to the very beginning because that's where it's supposed to be. Um, so yeah, you just drag and drop the video elements to move them. Let's see here. Move the intro all the way to the top. This at the bottom because I guess that was how the upload is alphabetized. That was my fault for naming them badly in my folder or whatever. Um, but yeah, there it is. Upload uh, started the beginning. You can see the preview on the left dynamically updates. Of what my life looks like in San Francisco. Um, and then, yeah, there's all the photos loading. Now, crucially, I'm making this for IGTV. And as you guys know, um, uh, IGTV videos need to be uh, 9 by 16, need to be a vertical video. So to resize your video, you can just shape it or you can just choose from your size options here on the left. Um, so for uh, IGTV, we're going to use 9 by 16, which is the story size. Uh, you can also see, like, if you wanted to use this tool to make a YouTube video um, or to make an Instagram post, you can also do those things here. Um, and what's really nice about Kapwing is it automatically like resizes all of your photos for you so that you don't need to, you know, go through and like push the pixels around to make everything the right size. Um, here's some photos of what my life looks like in San Francisco. Another thing that's important about the sizing is you can choose to, um, to instead of like zooming in and, and cropping all the photos, you can make them all fit with a border so that if you don't want to crop out any content, um, you can accommodate all of the different sizes by having a border rather than by cropping them all to be nine by 16. Um, so let's see, is this the order I want? You can see that live photo was last. I think I'm gonna move that up a little bit and make it a little bit chronological-ish kind of like through the day. Maybe I'll move this night photo down to the end. Um, let's see here. I don't really want this, uh, this arrow photo, so I'm gonna remove that. Um, anyway, you see all of the, um, all of the, uh, all of the moving around and arranging of the photos is super intuitive and easy. Um, you can also change how long the photos the uh, photos last. Photos of what my life looks like in San Francisco. I, I think I want to make this zoom and crop. By the way, um, I'm going to make mine last 1.5 because it was going a little bit fast earlier. You can see the preview just automatically updates as you choose your own uh, as you choose your uh, settings. So I think I'm pretty happy with that. So once you're happy with your video, you can just go ahead and click create down here in the left corner. 
and oops, my face is kind of in the way, but your video will be processed. Um, so on Kapwing, all of the um, video processing is remote. It all happens in the cloud rather than heating up your computer, like freezing your laptop, um, which is really useful. Um, for the montage maker, it shouldn't take very long, like less than 30 seconds-ish. Um, but you can see like all the uh, real time like console updates um, as the as uh, your video is processed. Um, it takes a little bit longer if you upload like you know big long video files or something like that. Um, but um, Kapwing supports videos all the way up um, all the way up to eight minutes long. So um, you can use it even for longer videos like screencasts and things like that. So yeah, here's the final video of what my life looks like in San Francisco. Um, and then you can see there's a watermark down here in the left, uh, the right hand corner. Um, Kapwing is totally free to use. I didn't even have to sign in or like even create an account to use it. I can just use it directly. Um, but be warned that the free version does have this watermark. There's the video. It does have this watermark that you have to pay to remove. So um, it's uh, uh, really useful for simple tasks, but you can also um, subscribe to a premium plan where you have like unlimited videos, unlimited access with no watermarks. Um, so yeah, then to um, post it to IGTV, just like any other video, I'm just gonna download it onto my computer. You can see it loads here. Um, and then go to Instagram.com. Let me go in this other um, browser. Go to your profile, make sure you're signed in to the account that you want. Um, and then yeah, just go to your profile, click on the IGTV tab right underneath your stories, um, and then click the upload button. Um, and then I have like added some special text to this video, but it's a super simple version, uh, just in San Francisco by me. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and upload this version instead. Um, let's see. So you just drag and drop the file into uh, IGTV. Wait for it to load. Type in your title. Um, um, let's see. This San Francisco is my hometown, so. And it's Kapoing's headquarters. And I'm going to put the Montage Maker link here too. Um, they did the Kapoing Montage Maker. You can get there directly by going to um, slash montage. And that's all you do. Just press post, and um, your video will be uploaded to IGTV. And that's how you make an awesome montage, uh, photo montage uh, or photo slideshow uh, for IGTV uh, using free online tool called Kapwing. Uh, thanks so much. That's all I got. Bye.